Good people, welcome back to the channel. If you've been here long enough, you might know that at some point in my life, I actually painted some kitchen table. <laughs> and I've been using it in here and it served me quite well as a desk. But, you know, we need to progress, guys. Progress, progress. <laughs> so, time has come to upgrade and I finally acquired a sit-stand desk, a motorized one at that, so that like it can actually go up and go down and I can use it while standing or while sitting. Yeah, so let's do this. <laughs> Okay, now this is the top that we're going to be installing. In the box, you first find this controller. This is just a plastic box that will go under the desk to which the dual motors and the control panel are attached via these ports right over here. And this is the control panel. You can see that it offers four presets and we'll get to that a bit later. In the box, we also find this power cable with a US plug. And it's actually quite long, uh, probably two to three meters long. We also find this box in which you get several items, including this cable management clips. This attached via some sticky tape onto the desk. We also get these two lamp keys, one abused with a drill, and this other one is for hand cranking. Next to get this plastic bag in which uh, a bunch of screws and the fit for the desk are wrapped. And this is the cable for the motors that will connect into the ports on the control box. I also got this aluminum um, gets in the box, but believe you me, I'm not even sure what these are for. But at least there's a three in these grommets that you can use to do some cable management, pass some cables through. So now let's unbox the metal work. First we find these adjustable sections that will go under the desk right over here. And this now being a dual motor standing desk, you will find that each of these legs actually has a motor. And you can see that the motor here is actually rated to support a maximum load of 1200 newtons so that will be adequate for whatever I will be placing on the desk. Now here's the listing of the desk frame on Amazon. It comes from a company called Radlove. You can see that it cost me $219 for the white version. But they also do have a black version if that suits your test better. So you'll find the link down in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out for the full listing on Amazon. So maybe just to highlight a few specifications. This desk frame is meant to support tabletops of up to 30 by 70 inches. So yeah, the desk frame comes in at a whopping 65 pounds. That's literally 30 kilos. Now one big disadvantage that I noted and I don't know whether it's just my unit or it's gonna be coming without a manual. So I had to actually use the video posted on Amazon by the company. The video is nice, no problem. Side is the fact that I couldn't even make out what screws have been used for what section. Cause you know, they are too tiny to see on the video. But anyway, let's get this done with. Now this is the metal work that make up the desk frame. This is one of the brackets that will attach the tabletop to the legs of the frame. And this here, the feet, so pick, this is what will come in contact to the ground. It's nice that they actually did include some letters here, A, B, and so on. On the packaging, but then again, I think these were meant to be used by a manual, which for some reason I didn't get in my box. So yeah, so are useless to me. This here, are the adjustable pieces that you, you know, elongate or shorten, depending on how large your tabletop is. And that simply works by fastening an inner piece that goes through these segments using these screws. So that would then allow you to use a larger or a smaller desktop. So the process starts by attaching these adjustable segments to the motorized legs. And 
and that should be done by using these shorter screws not the longer ones you know i made that mistake already <laughs> So using the provided Allen key, the task should last not more than a few minutes. But if it's your first time doing this kind of DIY project, just allow yourself even up to an hour or more. Yeah, this could be back breaking. <laughs> After that is done, you proceed to mount the feet of the desk. Now this is the part where you actually use the longer bolts. We also have these rubber pads that go into the screw holes at the end of the feet and they just give you a smoother glide on your floor rather than you know metal on floor contact. And this just gets screwed in at the four ends of the feet. After that is done, time to flip over the desk frame once more so as to attach the metal work that will be used to attach the desktop to the frame. And that is done by again screwing in these brackets using the shorter screws. Now here we have to do a lot of measurements so as to get it perfectly centered under the desktop. And we also have to now elongate the adjustable segments so as to get it, you know, wide enough to offer good support to our desktop. And once we're comfortable with the adjustments, it's time to fit the control box onto the frame. And on first sight, it would seem that the cables are a bit too short to reach over to the control box from both motors, especially when the desk frame is adjusted to its widest setting. But remember that we have this extension cable, so this will come in quite handy in this situation. So after a bit of measurements once more, it will be soon time to screw in the desk frame onto the desktop. And these short and sharp screws are what you'd use to accomplish that task. And one thing you'll notice is you actually really need to have a drill to make the holes for the screws, otherwise you'll really have a hard time. So now I'm done assembling everything, time to flip this guy over and do the test run. And here we have the controller attached to the control box, so we should be ready to power it on, but not until we actually connect everything to the power on the wall. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, our motorized desk in all its glory. This guy goes up from 59 inches low all the way to a high of 115 inches. And I noticed that the motors are actually much more silent than I am they would be. It's just a soft hum in the background, nothing too distracting. And I also noticed that the action of the motors is quite smooth and fluid. So yeah, here we are guys, finally upgraded to the Radlov dual motor standing desk frame. So far I'm impressed, but just to note, the main issue that guys face with standing desk frames is the wobble. You know, after you've had your computer, monitor, and what have you placed on the desk frame, because these desks only kind of have two legs, actually, they tend to wobble. But as I found out with this Radlav unit, well, really not that much, not unless I really vigorous check the desk. When standing, it's definitely much more. But really, why would you be shaking your desk this much? But when using it normally, it's not too wobbly, you'd be just fine. And there we have it guys, finally we have our new shiny massive desk. 1.8 meters by 80 centimeters. 
<laughs> the motorized desk frame was only about $200 or so and I have thrown on it this locally acquired, locally assembled tabletop. So what is left is probably, you know, um, uh, dual monitor PC desk setup. You guys guessed it, right? That video is definitely gonna be dropping in the channel very soon. So if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you do not miss that video and many other upcoming ones. And that said, while you're heading down there, you know, there's normally that like button for when you like a video. So if you like this one, I'd appreciate it if you hit it. Now there's also a comment box down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you guys think that this is a good way to go? Would you get a budget motorized desk frame just like this one, only about $200 or so? And do your own like DIY build of sorts or would you rather get the well-established brand names, factory made, standing desks, you know, for big bucks? <laughs> Let me hear your thoughts down below. So guys, see you in the next one and as always, no pressure.